Hey guys, MC Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, the Retro Iron Man Wave, the Iron Man Model 9. So here we have an Iron Man figure suit that we've had uh, a couple of times in the past by Hasbro in the Marvel Legends line. <clears throat> we had one that was released in the Epic Heroes uh, wave, which used most of the same body as this one. This is the vintage wave one version, which doesn't have as thick le bottom legs. Um, and that original Epic Heroes one was like super duper short. And then they made this Iron Man figure that was a little bit taller, but still a tiny figure. So we can see a comparison between these two. And basically this whole figure could basically fit inside of that other figure. That's how much more in scale and correct size that this new one is. So pretty cool. But essentially the same exact armor that you can see here. So I will do a proper side-by-side -side comparison and all of that for you guys to see. Uh, before we get into the review, I got my set from toysnowman.com. Link in the video description below. You can actually have my referral link, which if you use that link and create your account for first-time buyers, um, new new accounts, you will get a 5% off coupon code in your Frost Rewards. Um, so make sure to check out toysnowman.com. This figure, the Iron Man Model 9, is actually in stock right now at toysnowman.com. They don't have the whole wave, but make sure to check out toysnowman.com. So uh, looking at the package, we get the awesome artwork for Iron Man. Uh, throwback to the Toy Biz line for the Iron Man animated series. I love the old school Marvel Comics logo uh, on the back. Here on the back of the package, we look at what the gimmick is. And of course, it is swapping of the hands because that's what it's always going to be. The bio for Iron Man Model 9 reads... Uh, following a devastating loss to firepower, uh, Tony Stark pours his skill into designing an experimental new Iron Man suit to defend Stark Industries. So it's always going to be pretty generic stuff. Uh, but let's get go ahead and get into it. We're going to take this Iron Man figure out of the package and take a closer look. Um, the more that I'm looking at this figure and everything, I'll have a better sense when it's, uh, I have it in hand. Uh, this thing is really growing on me in terms of the look. It's actually a very good look. And because this one is just not that great of a figure, it's nice to have uh, something new that we can take a look at. So let's do it. Okay, so here's the Iron Man figure out of the package. And yeah, this one's definitely growing on me. Um, and it was extremely surprising how heavy this guy is. Like these feet are solid plastic. Um, they're bulky they're bulky and they're massive they got a crazy swivel to them but man it, it just makes the figure actually really heavy so I was qu quite surprised by that um one thing though and I know people are gonna absolutely hate this and I get it um, but at the end of the day how big of a deal is it in my opinion not that big of a deal um, not as good obviously but we have pins on the legs it's all yellow so it's all good with me but I know people are gonna say well why can't we get all fully pinless it's 2024. Um, I, I don't know why, but, um, these have pins. So these are the same legs for Iron Man that we've gotten several times over, um, you know, like the 80th anniversary Iron Man, the 20th anniversary Toy Biz, I think uses the same legs. And then like that AI Tony Stark one that was in the Shang-Chi, uh, Mr. Hyde build a figure. Um, but we've got new arms. So these uh, are pinless arms there. The Iron Man figure looks really good. We get some n nice metallic red throughout the torso. Uh, we don't really see that anywhere else. You could see some marbleization um, on the back. Well, I guess the hip piece also has that same same metallic uh, plastic in there. Here on the lower torso, though, that red is actually painted on there, so it's not exactly color match, and then the shoulders don't exactly color match, but it does look really good. And then one thing that I didn't even realize at this at the time, or I don't know if I ever really paid attention, we get these new uh, uh, smoke effect type pieces that will port into the hands, and they're really cool. They're new. We haven't seen these before, so when we get a closer look of the figure, we will get a closer look at those, because I am very happy with those. Uh, they are pretty cool. We do get the old school uh, blaster effects here with the burst out um, there. And you could put, uh, port these into the hands or you can actually port these onto the feet. So, you know, a fireman's uh, taken off first flight. You can pose that um, on the bottom of its, of his feet. Like, so, um, at, in, and then out of the package, we actually have fists on the Iron Man figure. I've already swapped them out for, uh, the open hand. So you can do, uh, this, these are those hands that do not have any kind of hinge whatsoever. You could swivel them around, but they're always going to be stuck in this position. So we've seen some that had hinges, uh, but these ones do not have a hinge and they come out very easily out of those wrists. So just, you know, be aware of that. Uh, so all those hands so fists and then the two open hands let's go ahead and now get the closer look in at iron man 
Okay, so here's an up close look at Iron Man and the head sculpt looks really good. I like it. When I think of like old school Iron Man and stuff, uh, this is actually probably the look that really comes to mind. Um, so I, I, I actually really like it. Really enjoy um, having this look in action figure form in a good version of it. I mean, because we did, again, we got it before, just wasn't as good. Now this one really just kind of plays up the whole yellow is gold and not like gold, gold like a lot of the other Iron Man figures is. So like the original one that had come out, it was gold um, and red. This one is yellow and red, just, you know, the bright yellow color uh, that some of the comics would, you know, kind of look at. So the head sculpt there. Um, sculpt wise looks really good just kind of black inside the mouth plate and the eyes um, I wanted to talk about these smoke effect pieces so take a look at that that is really really cool we've had some smoke effect pieces but nothing that would pour it onto a hand like this um, and I think it's amazing I love it these are new I'm sure we're gonna start getting these often you know we have those smoke effect pieces for like the guns um, and things like that but this for Iron Man figure specifically I think is gonna be really cool just to kind of show the smokiness now they are done in a blue translucent plastic maybe one day we'll get like that gray smoke um, cover but that is really cool and basically just how that works as you can see there it just pegs into the hand so you could do that um, there and we get two different ones so they are not the same sculpts these are actually different and independent of each other as you could see so looking at it there's that one there again same thing you just peg it in um, and then you could you know swap these out to whichever hand you want to do it in um, it doesn't matter Although it, I guess it does seem like it they fit better on 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 the certain hands. Actually, yeah, I guess they do fit better on the other hands. You can do it. I just that's the other way around. I just happen to do that first, um, and they definitely fit better. So maybe don't do it this way. Like it, it'll actually look better going the other way around. Um, and then these blast effect pieces obviously port into the hand because that's what they were originally for. So you could do that, or again you can po um, do them on the bottom of the feet. Uh, there uh, the chest uh, piece. Let's see look the wrist look how loose that that hand gets it just like pulling out that smoke and almost wanted to pull the hand out it just it's too loose So that that's an issue there uh, the chest plate there You can see it's we got a blue color with a couple little white dots on there It looks like a kind of a spray effect to kind of give it that glow look that's pretty good again the marbleization in the torso I actually really like the way it looks because it gives it nice metallic shine to it and that's just going to be on that upper torso piece uh, the lower torso piece this red here is painted on the hip piece does have a little bit of the marbleization um, and I guess the wrists kind of do you just don't see it much um, and then the the legs and feet definitely do not uh, we get a little bit of a wash in there on those the the panel line work there on the feet as well as like on the hands uh, all the panel lining on the hands as well as the fists and everything too so it matches all together and looks good um, yeah so again we have pins on the legs but we are pinless at the elbows uh, here's a look at the back of the figure there uh, taking a look at these big hole boots um, they swivel quite easily almost too easily I would say um, and then it gets difficult when trying to do certain kind of poses because the pivot on the ankle doesn't work out so well and I'll get to that here shortly in the articulation but um, yeah there we have Iron Man now he should be very sturdy because he's got very wide feet which is great and he's got some heft to him so he's a little bit of a heavier figure so he should be very sturdy with no risk of him falling down or anything like that but now let's move on to the articulation okay so Iron Man's articulation his head is on a disc hinge so he can look up that much which is great he can look down uh, that much there which is also really good uh, full swivel in that head you don't really get any pivot going on in there the neck does seem to have a separate piece uh, I don't think it swivels on its own no it doesn't swivel on its own pop that on uh, the shoulder you can get the shoulder to go straight on out like so we have this uh, shoulder pad which will fold up no problem it is keyed in there so you can swivel it around um, along with that shoulder we get an upper bicep swivel Hold on upper bicep swivel in there uh, double jointed pinless elbow is only going to give you about 90 degrees because the gigantic gauntlet piece on there is just going to hit that bicep preventing you from doing a full bend at that uh, at that elbow uh, wrist swivel and they do hinge on the fist the fists have a standard horizontal hinge again these open hands there's no hinge whatsoever so you kind of have like your uh, thing you know Wednesday Adams thing deal kind of going on there um and again these are fairly loose on the wrist the fists 
um, aren't as loose, but they do come out very easily. But they're, you know, there's no risk of them falling out or anything like that. Um, ab crunch on Iron Man, so he can crunch forward that much. He can go back uh, slightly there. You got a waist swivel in there. Legs go out that far apart. He can kick forward uh, very, very high, and you get a twist in that that upper thigh there which is kind of crazy so that's great motion there uh leg goes back a little bit actually you got an upper thigh cut in there uh double jointed knee gives you that much bend at the knee uh, again the boot swivels you get full swivel in there uh the ankle um this is where it gets tough like you can hinge the foot up quite a bit uh down not really at all pivot not really because the sides come down and that prevents the pivot. You can work it a tiny, tiny bit, but not a whole lot. And then you have peggles at the bottom of the feet. So uh, the boots, uh, you know, do make it a little bit difficult. But overall, I think the figure does look really good. So let's get in for that comparison with that older Iron Man figure from Vintage Wave 1. And it's rough comparing them. Okay, and there's the there's side-by-side comparison, and it's just kind of scary, actually, when you see the two. It's like, I get that this is old, but this was like Vintage Wave 1, so we had decent figures at that time. How could we have gotten something like this? And the scary part is, this is actually an improvement. This is actually taller than the original Epic Heroes one was, if my, if my understanding is correct. I don't have that original Epic Heroes one, but I believe this one was t taller, and I could be wrong on that. Maybe they just changed the legs um, and left it at that but man this thing is tiny compared to this guy so this one just overall looks a whole lot better now it this one would still look cool if it had like the gold instead of the yellow but i for one actually really like the the red and the yellow showing the gold because like when you look at comic artwork a lot of times this is what you might see and of course there's going to be artwork where you do get like a more of a true gold but the yellow and red really just stands out to me and i in my opinion makes this figure look a little bit better if we had it in like that true gold and maybe a little bit darker red I think it still look good, but I'm happy with uh, what they gave us in this. Okay, so here is the retro Iron Man wave so far that we have taken a look at. We've looked at She-Hulk, Iron Man Model 20, Whiplash, and now the Iron Man Model 9. So uh, you guys let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this retro Iron Man wave? Uh, I think modular, not modular, Iron Man Model 20 is definitely going to be one of the more popular ones. She-Hulk, probably the most popular in the wave. Whiplash is cool to get another classic villain, something that we don't get too often. Count Nefari, I think, is going to be the one that just people may pass on a little bit more for not being familiar with the character. Um, but I think the Model 9, it actually surprised me. I definitely like it more than I thought I would kind of going into it. At first I was thinking, oh, just another Iron Man figure, no, you know, no big deal. Um, but then I opened it and I see it and I'm like, oh, this figure is actually really good. And again, if I think of like, in my mind, a classic Iron Man, how would it look? This is really the look that comes to mind. It truly is. So happy to have it in the um, in you know the Marvel Legends form, an updated version. Because again, this this ain't it. Um, but you guys let me know your thoughts on all that down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. And make sure to check out toysnowman.com for all your action figure needs.